I'm Jason Glick alongside Damian Dunn. Damian, you play against a lot of really competitive schools, uh, a lot of competitive crowds too. They get really rowdy in college, I know. What's it like playing in a away game against those schools, or those crowds, and those boos? How do you try to embrace that, or, or how do you respond to that? Um, it's kind of like a, a kind of like, you know, extra motivation that I kind of look at it like, you know, you, you get a little break throughout the course of the game, and you look up in the stands and you see people yelling at you, and like they're putting you on posters and you know talking talking bad about you and your teammates. But it's what makes you, you know, kind of bring you and your teammates closer together. And I think that's what's kind of like helped us rise to the occasion where we're in those deficits or we're in those away games where it's loud. We can't even hear each other on the court. We can't even hear what our coach is telling us. Like, I think that's what gets us over the hump is when we're in those environments, you know, it brings us closer together and, you know, wants us to play a little bit harder and beat the team we're playing even more. So, yeah. Uh, with those teammates you mentioned, you get really close to them, like, you know, on the court, you rely on each other. How do you describe your relationship off the court? You know, like in the locker room, is it as strong as it is on the court? Like, do you put that same trust into each other in all circumstances? For sure. I think we're we're very close. Like, we all joke around with each other after practice in the locker room. Um, I think when, we, when we're on the court, you know, it's just a, a different level of seriousness and competition that we all buy into. But as soon as we're done with practice or as soon as we step off the court, it's like all of it goes away. You know, we can be ourselves, you know, we can joke around, we can play with each other. And like, and I think we're a group of guys who are just close, you know, we like being around each other. And I think that's what's helped our connection on the court as well. And lastly, um, this is about your game. Um, you definitely have improved a lot over the years. Like once you get comfortable with your team, you start improving statistically and you can just tell that, you know, you're becoming a better basketball player. But going into this season, what are you trying to improve personally in your game? Um, what trait or skill are you really trying to work on this offseason? Mm -hmm. Well, just really um, being being a guy who can who can score the ball and make plays and make my teammates a lot much better. I think it's something that I really just now started to really buy into with this at, um, last season and even more, you know, this summer and going into the season. Um, but just making my teammates better and knowing that, you know, if, if they're the ones who – who are getting open shots and you know they're they're guys who are actually feeling a little a little bit confident about themselves then you know that makes my job easier so i think that's just the one thing that i've really bought into this summer okay thank you for your time damien i'm jason glick signing up